Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunterman, and this is even more Stellaris. So, I've decided to take a break from the usual and try and do something a little bit different. And what I'm doing differently is I am going to have a Necroid mega corporation. okay? The idea is that we're all food, everyone is food. That's the idea. We're selling food, we're the Gourmand commis uh, Commissary Enterprise, and everything is food. So, we... We have Repugnant, and wait, hold on, am I looking at the right thing here? I th Did this not save? I feel like this didn't quite save. I had this entirely something else a second ago, didn't I? Oh no, did I change the wrong one? I did change the wrong one. Hold on. I don't need to be... Okay, let's reevaluate this. Okay, let me make sure you guys can see what I'm looking at here. Alright. So. Um, these are the traits of my... For patient species? That's the incorrect picture. Okay. Meaning these are the guys before they're me. Now we want them to have trade value from jobs and not us. Because clerk jobs, lower echelon jobs, those are the jobs that they're going to be occupying because they can't be ruler class. This is stuff I didn't know when I did this the first time. Um, we actually don't want them to be slow breeders. They can be pretty much anything else if they want. Um... They could be unruly. That wouldn't be terrible. Um, repugnant. They're nasty. Before they become us, we're glorious. Look how look how beautiful we are up there. That's, that's we're, we're lovely. Uh, solitary, which is no nope, no. Nope. Um, fleeting, which means their leader lifespan has lower period, but they can never be leaders. So that's just free points. Um, meanwhile, we, um. Let's see, I don't know if we want to be repugnant. But being slow breeders doesn't matter because we don't breed per se. So that's free That's free pointage. Um, population growth from immigration and resettlement costs is reduced. I don't know if we need to have that reduction, if we can have something else maybe. This is me. I thought I was a little bit done, but I'm not quite done. We can reevaluate all this other stuff. Um... Decadent means that worker happiness and slave happiness is less. Thrifty, we create more money from trade value, but we are not going to be creating any trade value because we're not specialists. They're going to be creating the trade value. So we actually want to have something entirely else. Probably, um, we can go for intelligence. We are intelligent. There is that. Um, so we have it listed as... Very strong, which is army damage, but we're pacifists, so we don't need the army damage. Try not to min-max this, but I'm just trying to think about it. I'm reevaluating what I'm doing here. Um, we well, no, hold on. I already have a race. It's hmm. If we increase our leader lifespan by 80 years, they'll basically be immortal. So instead of intelligent, we should grab something that increases their total level from what level they can get to, or possibly how fast they can gain experience points. Level ca oh yeah, Talented is level cap 1. That would only be 1 point, though. Quick learners is 25% more experience points. Let's, let's, let's be talented. Or wait, if I pick another negative, perhaps non-adaptive, then that would give me points left for something else. Let's say, then we can pick intel. no we can't pick intelligent, it's too much, we need one point. One negative point. Ah, then we pick quick learners. Yeah, 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 we're super smart. That's how we took everybody over from the inside. Yeah. Because everybody's food. Okay, I got it. Everybody's food. Our species name is the is the Yak Yak. The Yak Yak. The Vak the Vak Yak. Dang it. It's been so long I didn't decide to change anything. And the Yakinum 
those are the pre-patent species. Those are the ones we uplift by turning them into us. Our origin is necrophage. The civilization evolved as a parasite, feeding off other sapient life forms for growth. As it extends its reach across the galaxy, other species will come to be seen as either apprentices to be brought into the fold, or merely food to sustain its growing might. Or, or both. Everybody's food. Governing ethics. So we are going to be a mega corporation. We're going to have a media conglomerate, which reduces our war exhaustion and citizen population. Populace has increased? I don't know about that. Let's rethink that one. Trading post, maybe. If we have more star bases, we can have more trade coverage. Um, do we have anything that gives us... Oh, brand loyalty gives us monthly unity and encryption. Wouldn't be bad. Franchising. Subject power. Oh, yeah, we'll have a lot of subjects, won't we? Subject power relation penalty, negative 33%. Emperor has fall from branch offices, negative 25%. Maybe franchise it. We'll come back to it. Free trade. Sure, trade value increase, branch office increase. Indentured assets. Slave pop resource output plus 10%. Enslaved population ratio 40%. What does this mean? Mega Corporation specializes in large indentured workforce. It has little to do with the barbaric practices of slavery. These workers are merely paying off all their debts indefinitely. Let's see. Why is ens what does enslaved pop ratio 40% mean? I don't know what that means means. Public rela public relations specialists. Two envoys plus ten tip diplomatic weight. Oh wait, there's more leader cab, more leader experience, and more maximum level game infiltration. We you know what? Ruthless competition sounds pretty good. We want experience, experience, experience. We are gonna go and try and have the most interesting peaceful time. I'm going to see how this works out. We're going to see how this works out. Um, all the rest of this seems pretty fine. Save. Next. This is essentially episode zero, guys, but it only took me a few minutes to do that, unlike before. Fanatic pacifist. All right, so we get... Don't worry about Empire Sprawl as much from Pops. Now get monthly influence pops and worker pop output because we're authoritarian. So, done. Let's lower the size of what we're dealing with. I'm not one for lowering the size. Uh, medium is already kind of small. Wait, what? Oh, I can't. Okay, that's as small as I actually can go. Um, let's go with some more AI Empires. Advanced Starts 2, sure. Fallen Empires 2, sure. Marauder Empires 1, thank you. Um, let's have people be getting less text less often. often. We didn't get to the endgame event before, but it looked like it was going to happen a little bit soon. So, mid-game start of year, 2300, 2400 is the your normal start to the end of the year. Ensign difficulty, Empire placement is random, Advanced Neighbors is currently set to off. Um, I don't know if I need guaranteed have a little worlds. And let's turn off Xeno compatibility just in case it messes with things. Iron Man mode on. I'm going to have to do a lot of thinking, and I'm not going to be good at it. But I'm, I gotta learn. This is gonna be a different experience. Okay. In the not so distant past, Wectera was dominated by a fairly unremarkable species. To all onlookers, they would have seemed to be following a standard meandering course of development, with occasionally rapid periods of innovation interspersed with much longer periods of seemingly insurmountable setbacks. However, unbeknownst to them, their planet was home to a second intelligent species, us. For millennia, we, the, the Vakyak, remained undetected by the planet's proprietors. Little more than vague rumors of terrors in the night, we were a fairy tale told only to scare misbehaving juveniles. But they were wrong to discount us. 
as their rate of technology progress, uh, technolo technological progress quickened, so too did our infiltration of their society. Gradually, we were able to take control of the planet, reducing our precursors to subservience and gradual absorption into the Vakiak. Now armed with the recently discovered secret of FTL travel, we are ready to reach for the stars and take our place among the spacefaring nations of the galaxy. The begin. Alright, first thing second. Let's check out our sciences immediately for the guns. We gotta defend ourselves. We gotta defend ourselves. Um Do we want monthly unity? Yeah, sure. Actually, no. We'll go for farms. Everybody is food. Everyone is food! Uh, we obviously want the hangar bays because they will give us trade protection. We're going to start with all of that. I don't know how much of that is a good idea. I have lost some confidence recently playing the game, so we'll see how this goes. Um, construction ship. Let's get this research station. Um, science ship. Whoa, what? I'm in a weird-ass corner. Oh no, I am in a weird-ass corner. On the upside, we can put a starbase between us and other things. Um, let's see here. And what do we want for our first additional building? Oh, oh, we got the Chamber of Evol uh, Elevation. So that's good. Uh, we're good on the building front at the moment. Wouldn't be bad to have more mining jobs. Alright, our population should currently be split between people who are forced to work and aren't that great at it, and us. So we do need more specialist jobs. What do we want to specialize in? Alloys already? Maybe. Can't do anything yet. So, we are going to unpause. We're going to consider our many possible options. How you guys doing? So, uh, soon I will be playing back through previous save files to see if I can complete them in time. What the hell? This goes around me? I am kind of not okay with this. I'm going to go in a circle around me. Upscaling complete. Um. Artifacts from an ancient civilization on Habrak Live. From what we've discovered so far of their language. Oh, I don't need to unpause this. Arasian Concordant. Um, they were interstellar power that had sway over the... Okay, so the idea is... Situation We're going to do our best revised. to find other civilizations for for to enjoy with food, to enjoy as food. A buzz with the new alien remnants. Hey, we found a new civilization. We can make an observation post immediately? Oh, that's absolutely nonsensical. Let's go. Oh, that's right. That's why I don't see any habitable worlds, right? Because the phage start with, like, planets nearby that are also habitable, as far as our race is concerned. Unpause. Damn it, stop pausing. Maybe I should just turn off all the pausing. First prong compact protocols. Um... Other nations find it hard to establish communication with us. Negative first contact events are less likely to happen to us. They cannot attack neutral entities. Uh, it is wise to be cautious. We're gonna be cautious. That's our way. We can work to our society to receive a report on intelligent life. They may not be capable of space flight, but the aliens of Wintered Stain are quantifiably intelligent and their society shows all the hallmarks of a moderately advanced culture. Prominent xenologists note that this is an excellent, uh, xen yeah, xenologists. Excellent opportunity to study a society percepts not unlike the ones that we have previously only found in ancient remains of. Well, I mean, it's just immediately more food. Okay.
Um... A system has been surveyed. I think we'll go for... I think we'll go for... I, I want to try going for other things, but I think we'll go for diplomacy. Okay. So... How do we... Okay. I'm trying to remember how this is done. I think I can just land on their planet. Um, recruit. Uh, back yet? Probably too many. But you know, we're going to start with a standing army this time. We'll see how it goes. And we'll see if we can just land them on the planet and take it over and have a good time. It'll be a good time. Everybody will love it. Uh, let's get ourselves another identified. science vessel. Leave that be for now. Now we want to make sure that we're always grabbing scientists who are of different varieties of technolo technological knowledge. If possible. Because they're going to live a really long time. A super, super duper long time. Alright. Apparently we're going to go with... Wait, hold on. Yeah, we're going to go with Enterprise New Worlds. We don't have that one yet. Alright, what are these guys' uh, situation look like? They have... Oh, they have a garrison of 17? We don't even need that many. Hold on. You know what? We, you know what? Better to be more sure. We'll go with it. It'll be fine. Um... Let's see where we're going. Let's go over here. Do we want a third science vessel? The answer is probably. Outlier identified. Give it be for now. Sorry, I'm not really looking at those. We'll look at them later. Let's see here. I just had a really slow game. Future market survey complete. I had a good time playing with Mal and, and um, Carl, but um, it was a really slow game. So I'm trying to. I just. I feel like going fast. I can fast as Lars a little bit. Give me more options, I guess. The infinity equation? Already? Situation log revised. Did you just vanish? No, okay. Is that useful right now? It is not. Okay. Age is already 45. Okay, which direction? Let's try and go over to here. We're making an outreach program. Uh, we are but... Do okay, news of the encounter with the Deep Space Construction Guard in to a proportion spreading through the, through the Gorman Commissary Enterprise. While the entity does not appear to be of biological nature, it is mere existence as inescapable ramification for the possibility of technology's mega-engineering. We are but motes of dust. Okay, well, at least it's not hostile, hypothetically, question mark. We found another system to land on, which we will be doing. Speaking of landing on systems, um, we don't want any collateral damage. Let's go with morale. 
This is a good thing we're doing. We're doing a good thing. We're doing a good. Land armies can only invade primitive planets inside our borders. All right, enter orbit. It will be inside our borders. Give it a few seconds. Upscaling complete. Upscaling complete. Our native interference policy does not allow that. Really? How weird. Let's work on that policy, shall we? Let's look at all our policy. Our diplomatic stance is merchantile, which means we're using closed borders as a diplomatic action against non-rival costs a certain amount each month. Oh, okay. So it costs us influence to close borders on people. So we're not going to be having closed borders on people. We are currently in defensive wars, which is all we can have is being pacifists. Selected Bombardment. Wait, what? Did I screw up pretty badly? We can't have Native Interference, so let's double check that Native Interference. Active Study. All must be false. Can't be Pacifist. Has Pacifist, has Fanatic Pacifist. So, we can't hurt other pe all right fair enough we can't we can't do that shenanigans um can we colonize can we, ju can we just colonize can we never colonize we're gonna have to uplift them till they're smart enough to be nuggets my nuggies are right over here what the hell All right, primitive world. That's a problem for me. I have chosen immensely unwisely. All right, we're going to go genetic manipulation so that we can make our food more tasty. Land armies. At least to be there for later. Alpine world 13, 15% habitability. Ocean world, question mark, habitability. Our default habitability is over in the dry. So, all right, we're just going as fast as possible then. Market outlier identified. Leave it be for now. Where are we deciding to go from there? Now we have the possibility of seven star bases. And our Empire Sprawl is currently set at 70, so we can get a little big. So we're going to try and get a little big. Upscaling complete. A system has been surveyed. A system has been surveyed. Build research station. And actually future market survey complete anomaly metal shown on the surface it would be for now this is a big six though we got to take that big six whoa whoa Did you guys see that I don't see that on the market play outlier identified there was yeah okay it is there green flashing it would be for now Okay, this is going back this direction. If this can connect up, that would be better. It's been a real quiet day. Leader experience gain even more. A system has been surveyed. Leave would be for now. Unpause. Upscaling complete. Leave it be for now. Unpause. We are going to be needing... Fascinating. The constant calculator. Picked up the signal. It originates from the titanic complete. metallic sphere. Encountered earlier previously in impervious to... Towards the black hole. Fascinating. 
Fast Situation Man, log revised. Potential market survey completed. And yeah, we're basically gonna maybe we'll do a spider web. I mean, so I'm a spider, so what? Like, let's go. Future market survey complete. Do I need a fourth science vessel? What I need is a way to get more influence. We have encountered intelligent life capable of spaceflight. In sharp contrast to the primitive previously primitive primitives previously observed by the Gorman Commissary Enterprise, we have yet to get a good look at the beings piloting the crafts through the dark with purposes unknown. Delta aliens. We have made first contact. Alright. Let's make first or contact. Merson, you're on it. Let's go. Uh, habitable the world survey, obvi revised. obviously always a positive thing. Market outlier identified. It would be for now. Upscaling complete. We're gonna get right on this. Then move here. We need another construction ship, because we tend to have two at the start here. How are we doing on job stuff? We're pretty close on job stuff. Um, first contact is making progress. Uh, let's get more energy. Wait, no. No. Industrial. And then while we're at it, I guess we're going to need consumer goods. I would have liked to go for alloys, but we just need more planets. We pick up readings of an unknown nature, signals fall, some kind of syntax. We'll see how it goes. If these guys are right here, then we're going to immediately rush up here to meet them. And if there's some sort of... Oh yeah, that... Wait, that's me. Oh no. No no no, that's a um Outlier identified. What you call it? The dudes with the uh stations. A system has been surveyed. One of those troop things. Future market survey complete. <laughs> Evading competitive fleet. Well, hold on, it might be angry. Perpetual Toil has encountered hostile alien vessels in the Vana system. We've discovered new aliens? Epsilon aliens. Hi. Hello, Epsilon aliens. How are you? Okay. Then immediately turn around and start going this way. It's going to take you a little time to get over there. Trust me, it'll be worth the wait. Actually, let's do this one first, and then we'll do this one. Be worth the wait. A system has been surveyed. Market outlier identified. Anomaly leave for now. Good times, good times. All right. So, made it a little ways in. I'm gonna go for a. We'll go for a little bit longer of an episode. Upscaling let's go for like 45 complete. minutes. We want to make first contact with somebody, right? Let's start by getting to first contact. Let's see if they want to talk. Curator order. Nice. Well met. Well, I mean, that's not exactly what I meant, but... Life form... Oh, okay, we might have... Drones over here blocking us off. That would be kind of fine at 907. It also kind of means nobody else is going to be there, though, but.
Wait, what? Oh no, there's there's another connector right there. Producing another industrial district. Found some volatile moats. Nice. We on it. We've almost settled on employment. Should be about ready to have some of our actual civilization soon. We do need to go and expand to somewhere. But where? All these places are crap. And we can't drop down on our habitable worlds. I may have made a terrible, terrible mistake. In fact, I think I did. I a think I made a terrible, terrible surveyed. mistake. Leave it be for now. Let's check out the first contact. Foreign market leaders request contact. All right. We figured out drones. Drones are bad. Okay. Let's get you guys inside our system. Future market survey complete. New research. Future market survey complete. Potential market survey completed. Looks like we're going to be needing some food. It'll be for now. Alright guys. I have already engineered this with a mistake. Because we can't interfere with these societies. Hold on. Upscaling complete. Wait, but there is a thing we can do. Maybe we can, if we can uplift them, that'll be, we'll need to make gen genetic priorities. Identified. Leave it be for now. A system has been surveyed. A system has been surveyed. Look at all this over here. I wonder if this is all connected or a bottleneck. We're gonna explore over here when we're done with that survey. We're gonna see what's actually Research this direction. Actualized. Blue laser. Uh, let's go with shields. We will seamlessly swap out our sciences. Do we need the genius anywhere else? Yes, we can use the genius over here. Where is this science vessel that isn't doing anything currently? Howling Vortex sounds neat. Wait, what? Okay, wait, hold on. We're not done yet. This goes on. We definitely want to grab that if possible, but that's going to be a long-ass trade route. Oh, hey, this is all connected. Beautiful. We want to grab that too, if we can. Evading competitive fleet. All right, where's this? Alpha Hydea Eta Aliens and Zeta Aliens. Eta Zeta? I don't think we're going to get away from that. We're finding a lot of not not competitors. But actually, one of the ooh Gaia world. Planetary build speed is reduced. Due to phase shifted, phase shifted. Oh no, is that the planet that slips in and out of phase? I think it is. Upscaling complete. All right, let's see here. 
I'm gonna start going that away. And we should be getting factions pretty soon Outline now, right? Identified. Leave it be for now. What do we got? Big and testy. Upon entering the system, strange readings, dismissed versus asteroids. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Keep it up. Man, our science ships in less than 10 years are already got, like, level 3 dudes. Elevation Ceremony on Wekterra. Ever since the Gorkom takeover of Wekterra, the transformation of Yuknama into, into Vakyak has been shrouded in a ritual. Once every 10 years, a date which is rapidly approaching, the apprentices gather in the Chamber of Elevation for a special ceremony. What exactly happens to them is a closely guarded secret known only to a select few, but when they emerge, they do so as Vakyak. The preparations commence. Let's increase the survey speed, which I should have already done, but I am a Dumas. Research actualized. Research actualized. We got hangar bay. Um, I already got laser guns, so I need regular guns. Maybe I'll get regular guns. Maybe I want all the guns. Possibly all the guns. I get a straight bump to my engineering speed. Yeah, I already have... well... Well... Mm. Nanomach nanomachines, son. No, um... I already have guns. No, I, I need more guns. We need all the guns. Speaking of having all Updating the guns. Complete. Weird heat blobs. I want this guy a world, but I think it's Upscaling phase complete. Are you going to be mad if I claim your system? Fascinating creatures. It's it's a study. Foreign market. We have converted three pops content. to our species in elevation ceremony on Wekterra. Leave it be for now. Future market survey complete. Oh no. What the hell? I cannot believe you're still trying to do that. And yet I can totally believe you're still trying to do that. This is a weird setup for all of this. But if I can get anywhere, I want to do it. We're missing three influence. Kappa aliens, where are these? Interesting. Okay, we got another... Um... Enclave. Hopefully this won't piss this thing off that we're claiming its system. Hopefully that'll be fine. Silent likely at least food source, but the intake okay. Market outlier identified. Let me read that again. The space life lifeforms which the Vak head of society research has come to refer to as Tiyaki are docile creatures capable of accessing some lower dimensional dimensions of subspace. To roam from system to system with more remarkable ease, they graze on gases common to the upper layers of many gas giants. It is highly unlikely, to say the least, that this is their only food source, but intake of other nutrients has yet to be observed. They will rarely, if ever, attack, even when provoked. They can safely be ignored. Cool. Foreign market leaders request contact. I guess you can't safely be safe. Oh, these guys over here, they can be safely ignored? Cool. So that's one research done, so I can make start researching on these guys. Upscaling complete. Oh, I get it. Market research done. I, I see what you I see what you said there.
Market outlier identified. Leave me for now. We'll come back. We will definitely come back. Technological enlightenment. When you complete this mission, they will give them full ownership of their home system. Well, I don't want that. Wait, maybe I do? How much will that cost me? Late medieval age, huh? Alright, what are you doing? There's just alloy over there. Thorian Coalition, National Growth Party, Alien Rights Movement. There, that they all happened at the same time that time. I can only adequately expand in one direction at one time, so... We got trade set up over here. On the other side. Well, actually, that might be too soon. Eh, whatever. I have a lot of star bases I can work with. Mysterious Spacefarers. A mysterious vessel in the Balawar system, most convincing current hypothesis based on behaviors and patterns of still unpredictable ciphers. And... Yeah, yeah, leave that be for now. I've been sent to accept as previously unknown spacefaring civilization. Keep at it. Were these guys? Oh, wait, you mean. You... No, no, no. Those are the, um. Those are more of the station dudes. We're working on it. Potential market survey completed. That might end. That would be really handy if that's like... I should definitely just go look. Let's just explore ahead and see if this connects somewhere. It appears that they speak in strange riddles somehow conveying their meaning market through... Identified. Short and seemingly non cyclical phrase of which we can only guess its significance. Ah! Darmok and Talog at Tanagra. Or however that goes. Demon's Eye Nebula? Fun. Potential market survey completed. Upscaling complete. Okay, that's not gonna. Hold on. Hold on, wait. That's. Not gonna work. Alright, come back and grab this. Not really any planets out this way so far? We're doing mildly okay on food right now. I guess we're gonna need some unity. Let's see if that goes anywhere, and if we need to worry about it. Alright, performing this order, cool. Hello? Question mark? What's up? How you doing? Hold on. As we continued the investigation of the Kappa aliens, who we now know to be the Lyriite Interplanetary Autocracy, it became clear that the phrases they use are all references to significant, well-known events that happened at some point in their past. 
The meanings of these references are apparently generally recognized among their kind and can be a shorthand for expressing a sentiment or state of affairs. Fortunately, it seems that this form of language is not the only version of it, but merely the high speech used in official settings and between intellectuals. An altogether more comprehensible low speech vernacular is used in more informal settings, especially among the low of the, among the young and those of lesser intellect. Unfortunately, it's considered gravely insulting to speak to one of high standing using low speech so that they must treat us as intellectual equivalents of, of children in order to communicate with us. Wait, what? Unfortunately, it's considered gravely insulting to speak to one of high standing using low speech so that they must treat us as intellectual equivalents of children in order to communicate with us. Surely we cannot manage to speak their true language. Envoy Elmo pauses, looking confused. We've gathered several phrases that they seem to begin their seem to begin their messages with. Which should we use to greet them? Tarbak jig at rest? Tarbak ilak her eyes open? Or better to play it safe on second thought? If we use this correct greet, if we use the correct greeting, they're about to become impressed. But using the wrong one will likely cause offense. I don't know. Her eyes open. As soon as the words are, were uttered, it was obvious that we had chosen poorly. The Lyrites held their silence for a long moment before we were beset by a barrage of harshly spoken phrases. Their intent is clearly hostile. Even if their exact meaning remains unclear, it seems that our attempt to impress the Lyrites, we only managed to insult them. On the positive side, at least we are able to open up communications with them now, to some degree. They will get over it. Nero Autocracy's opinion of the Gourmand Commissary Enterprise changes by negative 50, influence gained 46, ends the first contact procedure with Lyrite Interplanetary Autocracy, intel on the Autocracy set to 20. Sorry, they will get over it. Request contact. Oh, I, I can't even be negative because I'm such a pacifist. I speak on behalf of the Lyritite Interplanet Autocracy, and I come with a message for your depraved species. As long as you stay out of our internal affairs and treat our great leader, Emperor Hastemach uh, I, with reverence, there may yet be peace between our nations. You are authoritarian isolationists. I mean, xenophobes. Peace be with you. You'll get over it. Where are you? Oh, oh no! No, it was inside their borders all along! Curses is 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 is! We need to grab the shit out of here right away. And wait for our freaking ship to come back. And you know what? We need to. Do we want to improve relations? I guess we'll improve relations. We don't want we don't want any war. And we do want this. What do we want? When do we want it? Universal transactions. We shall extend our brand and business to every solar system. Branch office cost is less. Commercial packs no longer cost influence to maintain. I mean, I might as well go full on in, right? Let's see if we can get them friendly and get them a commercial pack. And then we can start Upscaling spying up their complete. home. I'll leave that be for now. Okay. We're going to go grab this Gaia world because everybody wants one. They're, they're the hottest new thing. Okay, hold on. I've lo okay, I was about to say, I lost visuals on my science vessel. Build a mining station. Move here. Potential market survey completed. Gourmand Commissary Enterprise. 
That's me. Upscaling complete. Go get those alloys and energy. And then we're gonna set up a starbase. Oh shit, are you already- Oh, you're surveying it. I'm already here, though. That's us, we got it. Alright, build that up. Is that Yump? Are you serious right now? We have a Yump system? Do you guys know what a Yump is? It's when you... I, I don't remember if it's frame perfect. I don't think it is, but it might be. It's when you jump off of the... Um, colored block switch of the switch palaces in Super Mario World. It's a term, yumping it. You 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 yump. I don't know why I don't know why it's called yump. I don't know that off the top of my head, but it's yump. Okay. We're going to need more minerals. So build that. Jobbing this is kind of close. The spectral clockwork the study of the pulsar seems an endless source of insight for our scientists, but rarely exhibit any signs of overly dangerous phenomena. This makes the recent reports on Gorim all the more concerning. An initial scan revealed that the pulsar, in addition to its regular electromagnetic beam, is emitting a separate beam at a limited wavelength, which is only visible in the, s in the same system at shorter and shorter intervals. According to the initial calculations, the intervals between those pulses will reach zero, at 2300 to 101, what occurs then is off of speculation, the exact explanation for the pulse has instilled an almost superstitious fear in those who study it. Excuse me? Which pulsar? Where? Where do I have a pulsar? Is it over here? Yeah. What's going on with you, Gorham? Pulse germination? Wait, have I always been able to... Wait, I can't just click on... Can I just click on things? Has that been the case always? How about you? Resources, three energy. Oh, yeah, three energy. Fuck off. Alright. Oh, my science vessel came back. Cool, where is left to go? This we won't be able to head off for a while until we get a big enough sh group of ships. Um, that's also kind of a thing. Alright, this is the part where we start doing backfill, I guess. I don't know which way... Okay, I know which way to go right now because what we want is that... Um, Potential market survey Gaia completed. World. Leave that be for now. Upscaling complete. Alright, might as well grab both of these. Well, no. Might as well not. Alright, Yump. I'm grabbing Yump. I'm going to need slightly more job than that. Um, I only currently have the one planet, which is a problem. We need a migration treaty, and we need it stat. But you're an isolationist, so I'm not expecting that to happen. You're currently trying to harm our relations? Let's currently try to improve our relations, shall we? I'd like to build a spy network with you guys, but... Future some things are slightly complete. more important. I think that's probably about as far as we could possibly reach is right there. 
Where does that... Okay, that jumps across. That jumps across. If these two meet up, that would be excellent. If we could somehow possibly get that. She can't go any faster, Captain. She doesn't have the power. Oh, you guys have closed borders to us? We are trying to improve relations. We will not currently close borders with you. Research actualized. All right, we're getting more unity. Uh, how are we doing on administrative capacity? We we could do better. We're not doing terrible, but that's just flat administrative capacity. Well, no, that's a percentage. No, we want the off-world trading. We definitely got to get trading. Gonna need energy for these ships. Speaking of ships. Um, shipyard. Increase. Future market survey complete. Mining stations for both of those. And also... A starbase. Probably have a lot of society research going on. And when that gets done, probably want to backfill over here. I uh, yump. Can you yump? Yump it, yump. Potential market survey completed. Leave that be for now. Ooh, running for almost an hour. My bad. Meant to go a little bit long. Didn't mean to go super long. Made a couple of first contacts, trying to make friends, and that is where we are right now. So for everybody who is watching later on YouTube, okay, I thank complete. you for watching. There's the face planet that I expected. This has been Stellaris, presented by Improvision Entertainment, and my name has been Huntermun. I will see you in the future. Later.